No silicone. No silicone. No silicone. No silicone. Okay. Keep it raw, keep it real, 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 real. They've taken people's lands, they've done the most fuckery, but they turn around to us and tell us to calm down and tell us not to speak when they have the most blood on their hands. Facts! How can the people that have blood Facts. on their hands tell innocent people to pipe down when they're speaking for peace? First and foremost, man, what was the motivation to get there, man? Like, why did you go? Because, yeah, huge question, man. Why did you go protest? And for what? I mean, for justice, man. For justice for, you know, George Floyd. Justice for every single person. Oh, I see that. I see that, man. Like, Come on, man. Oh. Yeah, man. That's, that's, that's one of my idols, bro. That's no, one I, of my I, idols. I know this, man. Like, okay, before we even go there, man, obviously that was one of the songs you guys were singing yesterday during the protest, right? Yeah, that's one of the songs that we were singing. Yeah, that's after we got chased by the horses. Yeah, um, that was all madness. Listen, do you know how um, wild that sentence is? You said that with a straight face. Yeah, we got chased by the horses, bro. It's twenty twenty. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? It's twenty twenty. It's one of the vans or something, bro. But the man are using actual horses and that. It was wild. It oh. was wild. But so basically, what happened was they ran us. They ran us with horses. So we all ran. It was we were like we was all pissed. We was all vexed, and then. Basically, one guy had um, he had like this uh, this pu this pulley thing, right? Like some some pulley thing in it, and he had like speakers on it. Right. So then he so then we was like, you know what? Yeah, fuck it. Like, let's go back, play some good vibes, and show yeah. them that we're not that we're not backing down in it. You know what I yeah. mean? Because obviously the media will now turn it around and say, oh, like they were rioting and all, 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 and all of this stuff. And it was like, fam, we were just there letting it be known that we're not we're not having this racist bullshit government and this racist bullshit system yeah. running our lives anymore, man. Like, yeah. enough is enough, isn't it? And that's Crap. what we're doing, peacefully. It's wild, man, because, so one of the chants that you guys were, was, were saying was along the lines of, like, we have a right to live and stuff like that, right? Like, um, yeah. the, the whole chanting thing, so like, like I was saying in the beginning, what was your motivation of actually going out and protesting? Because there's different types of people, right? There's people that would yeah. sit at home and just look outraged and see what's going on. There's people that yeah. want to damn, they want to turn it all off. There's people that will yeah. protest in their own fashion, in their own way, right? Like, behind yeah. the scenes. And then there's people that will actively go out there and show their faces. So what's your motivation yeah. to actually step out? My motivation is just, like, when I, when I see my mum, when I look at my mum, that's mm -hmm. motivation. When I see all the injustice that's going on, mm -hmm. when I do research into, like, our history and stuff like that, you know, all of these things, like, and it's like, I don't want to be one of them ones where I'm just sitting around and just talking because... As I said in, in uh, one of my posts, I said, "Listen, like, I was, I was, I was losing hope in our generation, man, because I was mm. thinking that everyone's just on on Instagram, on Twitter, just tweeting, talking, talking, doing reposts, and it's like, for me personally, it's like I can't just sit here and and watch things that happen, especially watching an innocent man get murdered. Yeah, do you know what I mean? Yeah, like, nah, man, enough is enough, in it. Yeah. So, man, just had to get out there, man, and just make my voice heard and just." Keep shouting, man, and keep screaming that we want freedom, yeah. and we have a right to live, and freedom is our birthright. Do you know what yeah. I mean? And you know this this racist system, like even racism in itself, like mm. it just doesn't make sense. Like, mm. yeah. uh, what what baby have you seen come out of the womb and say, "Er, black" or "Er, white"? Like, it's a taught thing. It's taught, yeah. You know what I mean? It's, it's a taught thing, yeah. and this is this is a systematic taught thing. 
You know, mm-hmm. people profit off this. People profit off this thing. So it's like, what kind of society are we living in mm-hmm. that profits off of such evilness as racism, capitalism, all of that stuff, man? Yeah. Like it's it's all mad. So yeah, yeah, my that... motivation is to let them know that mm-hmm. I'm here and I'm and I'm saying fuck this system. Mm-hmm. Fuck all of this racist shit you're doing. Mm. We're standing up for peace and we're standing mm. up for justice. Mm-hmm. No, I love that. I love that, man. One thing we just said is that, like, yeah. it's a systemic, it's a systemic thing, and it's taught. It's interesting because yeah. that is a question, right? A lot of people are asking, like, you know, where does it actually come from, and what is the point of it? And we spoke about this on the phone, and it's the whole capitalist structure yeah. behind it, right? People are profiting off yeah. putting people against each other. You got what I'm saying, making people feel lesser than and stuff like that. Yeah. It's wild because, like you said, when the baby comes out, they have no no concept of even color, right? They just see people. No concept. As they, they just grow, see people, yeah. As they grow with their experiences and what, they're, what, was, what infiltrates their minds and stuff like that. So the question yeah. becomes, like, why would anyone want to infiltrate someone's mind to make them feel this way, right? And as oh. ed- education is, like, a big thing. I know we keep talking, talking about the education aspect of things, man, but before we get into solutionizing, right, yesterday's emotions and stuff, what was the vibe? Like, how did you feel actually being on the ground and actually speaking out and, and those chants and stuff like that how did that feel man even before the horses came through like oh, i was amazing man everyone was really like it's just amazing to see like so many people there just yeah. in solidarity just chanting and 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 standing for justice man it was great like it was peaceful like there was no there was no issues no problems like obviously like you know people were there venting and and you know really speaking their speaking their truth and 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 letting you know this government and letting the police know like we're here in it and we're not yeah. standing for any of this bullshit no more like yeah for example like one of the one of the things that people like chant to the police is who do you serve and who do you protect mm. and the police will they they will never answer you but mm. you know it's like who do you serve like who do you actually protect like yeah are we not the ones are we not the ones that pay taxes for and that that pays their wages to actually 100%. protect us and to do things properly and 100%. if they're just going to abuse it in front of us and continue to disrespect us and yeah. continue to systematically just do all of these mad things it's like nah man enough is enough like yeah. we are we are human beings we are people yeah. we have feelings we have our thoughts we have our minds and we have yeah. a right to live yeah. peacefully we have a right to you know <laughs> live in a society where a man a man can't just a man just getting murdered on on the street for no reason yeah bro, you know what i mean that that chant man that, like, that's crazy that freedom is our birthright says it all bro like because you just come out come yeah. out of the womb and then you're you're automatically fighting an uphill battle for no apparent reason for just being born the way you are right yeah it's it's, it's nuts man so like okay so i guess it was it was solidarity right i think one question i had for you was like a lot of people are feeling like oh, but we're in the UK. What is the point of protesting in the UK when it's not like anyone got killed here? People got killed over there in America. What, it's not your business. Like, what would you say to that? Bro, I think um, f- if people look into the history of Britain and look into the history of the British... Em- like, this place is called the British Empire for a reason. Yeah. yeah? They've run up in many places. They've, dis- they've distilled people. They've taken over people's lands. They've done a load of stuff. Like, mm. if you look at their history... They know their history. Europeans know their history. Yeah. They know where they come from. And more time, their history consists of war, pillage, rape, mm. murder, all of that stuff. Mm. And, and um, okay, and if you're saying, okay, like, well, they're over there and it's got nothing to do with us, really think about it. As a human being, mm. as an actual human being, how can you even say something like that? That doesn't make any sense mm. to witness a murder and say, oh, well, it's over there. That's not my problem. Mm. Like that, uh, to me, that's, to me on a human level, that's, that just baffles my mind, man. Because any, any sort of injustice like that is an injustice that must be spoken upon and must, and we have to stand on that mm. and say, that shit cannot run. That yeah. shit cannot go on. Yeah. It can't. Yeah. And, and with the British, the British Empire and America, they're very, they're pretty much the same. Mm. In in over here, when Europeans are fighting other Europeans, America comes. They 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 help the English. They help the English, yeah. Mm. And um, obviously, the reason why it was World War is because again, the British Empire. Once they step into a beef, their empire, the places that they've taken over, mm. now have to join the war. Mm. And then Germany, you know, they have certain places where they've conquered as well. 
there people have to and then now you see there's all these different wars going on but basically it's it's a war between you know Europeans and that in it so yeah. yeah I think um yeah like uh I think it's just real crazy I think, it's real I think crazy, essentially though. like what you said in terms of the answer to that question is like an injustice at this is a quote from Martin Luther King King he said an injustice anywhere is an injustice everywhere you know what I'm exactly. saying and injustice, exactly. everywhere, injustice everywhere, man. So, yeah, exactly. so, like, I was giving you kudos earlier um, on the call, like, offline yeah. for actually stepping up and actually doing, playing your part. You know what I'm saying? And now, again, within the protesting thing, like, um, I've spoken about this before. We have people like um, Dr. Usman, right? Um, yeah. Who kind of say things like um, interracial protesting is counterproductive, right? If you're protesting mm -hmm. with white people, you don't understand. You're not fighting the plight for your own people. You know what I'm saying? Right. What do you take to that? Because I feel like, what what was the population like yesterday? I know a lot of people might have been wearing masks because of COVID, but, but was it a mix? Was it a mix? It was mixed. Of... It was black, white, Asian. Mm. Like everybody's in is 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 together with this, and mm. and it's a, it's a it's an injust. It's a human thing, man. Like mm. fair enough. Like you know, it's you know it, we're fighting for black lives matter. Black black lives matter. Facts. Black lives matter, facts, mm. facts. But at the same time, like, there's other human beings that resonate with that. We mm. all resonate with that. We resonate mm. with that. And and to say that, oh, if white people are joining a protest, like, that doesn't make sense to me. Like, everybody needs to come together and stand up and t and tell the, these so-called powers that be. I don't even like saying powers that be, but these, we'll these, we'll these entities, mm -hmm. these, these, yeah. these people that are doing whatever they're doing, like, we have to stand up and say no, because at the end of the day, we're a human race. Do you know what I mean? We are a human race. We are a human race, and injustice on any human is an injustice on everybody. Yeah, and yeah. we can't stand for that, bro. We can't stand for that because if we start saying, "Oh yeah, but this, this and that, and this and that," this is the whole. This is all part of the problem. Yeah. We're starting to separate things again. Yeah, and if we're all over here saying one thing and all over here saying one thing. Many voices leads to no change, but one unified voice yeah. will change everything. And that's, that's, that's what we need to do. It's a human thing, man. Understand. Trust me. And black Chinese, whoever, man, whoever wants to join the cause, fam, come and join the cause, man. Mm -hmm. Come and join the cause and fight for justice because at the end of the day, injustice is injustice, my guy. Yeah, no, 100%. 100% get back you on that, man. Like, because I've been putting this thing on my story recently asking the question of, like, why is everyone attacking white people and forcing white people to, to speak, or when they speak, why don't they speak, da, 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 da. And it's that whole thing about creating further division that's unnecessary, you know what I'm saying? It's counterproductive. Wherever you can get or garner support, especially if it's um, support willingly, you feel me? Especially if it's not corporate. Yeah. If someone wants to do something and it's actually for your benefit, look past the skin tone thing because you're, you're, you're just doing what they're doing. You get me? You might as well it's, it's, bring them in. You yeah, it's... A, it's, a, it's Every every human being wants justice. Every human being, like no no rational, right thinking human being wants racism, yeah, or any of that, or, or injustice, or any of that. Yeah. So, if people want to join the cause, one hundred percent, let them join the cause. Like yeah. because again, as we're saying, like that's that's part of the problem. Dividing it and saying you can't do that and you can't do this. Like it it just to me, it just feels like it's kind of productive. It's yeah. kind of productive to the to the bigger cause and the bigger issues that we have. You yeah. know, and um, there's a lot, there's a lot of issues that we have, and you know, it's gonna take time and effort, but we'll we'll get through it, man. But we need to, when we see ignorance and when we see certain things that are happening, we need to address it quickly and swiftly yeah. and move on to the next thing that we need to sort out. Because hundred percent, yeah, so it needs to be done injustice. for real, bro. And injustice anywhere is an injustice everywhere, man. So that's dope. Exactly. So the vibe of the the protest was unity, right? And um, unity, yeah, it, it was unity by everyone, right? Now, yeah. In terms of the chance, right? Um, um, can you can you give me go through some of the chance that you guys were going through as well? Because I know I posted reposted one um, on on my on my post just now. What else were you guys saying out there? Um, so basically, say his name, and then everyone will say George Floyd. Okay. Um, no justice, no peace, no racist police. Uh, fuck boys Johnson. Uh, just, just a whole, a whole heap of stuff. I think it's, it's hard to, to say everything because it's a in lot the of stuff. It's, 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 it's in the moment and, and a lot of stuff, and yeah. a lot of stuff is coming from the heart. Yeah. There's a difference between the heart and the mind. The mind, you got to think about, it. you got to process things. You got to, oh, if I say this, boom, boom. But when it's from the heart, people can really, people just say whatever 
that comes from their spirit. Do you know yeah. what I mean? And yeah. a lot of people were just saying, saying like, you know, they were just voicing a lot, man. A lot of people was voicing anger at the establishment, at the system, mm. at the police. Because mm. the thing is, yeah, is that on a human level, mm. these police officers that are standing there straight face, just looking at, at people that were showing pure emotion and e are even trying to speak to them and ask them like, yo, like, what's going on? Like, why is this happening? Like, who do you, like, who do you serve? Who do you protect? Mm. And they're not answering. Mm. That, that's, that's a, that's so cold. Like, how can you as a human being see what's going on? You know what's going on. You saw the video. You was probably briefed at your police station mm. saying, oh, these people are going to come. They're talking about this and that. Like, you know what's going on, but mm. yet you don't want to say anything. You don't mm. want to show that you actually stand with us. Mm -hmm. And that's, and, and, and that's, that's again on a human level. Like, it's just, it's just madness. Because again, there is another thing is like these police are trained mm. to look at us as basically not human, but they classify us as, um just like uh um like protesters or like uh nuisances or something like right. that you know right. what i mean right now when you when you when you start dehumanizing people then it's easy for them to now to now take a step back and be like no nah, like you lot are just like whatever like i'm not even gonna speak to you yeah when it, when there's you know in their spirit you know they know yeah that what is going on is not right yeah. They know that the establishment that they serve is yeah. not right. Yeah, bro, and, I don't, I don't know, you know if you saw, you saw that video. There's, a, there's a U.S. Army um, cop that was protecting, um, I guess, establishments in America, right, and protecting yeah. um, people from protesting, etc. Well, yeah, preventing people from protesting, and then it zoomed in on his face, and he was just like, the, the, the crowd was chanting, "I'm black, I'm proud, I'm black, I'm proud," and then zoomed in on his face, and he was trying to mm. defend himself, "I'm black, I'm proud." You can read his lips. You get me? Mm -hmm. so I put the caption conflict of interest because that is the thing. Mm -hmm. Like when you ask the, the police officers here, who are you here to protect? They're not saying it out loud, but you know the people. They know. They know they're supposed they to protect know, us, yeah. but their actions are from yeah. time to time are contradicting yeah. what the message is supposed to be, right? It's contradict. And, and the, the, one of the things that made me laugh here is that um, I even said to a police officer, like, I was just like, wow, like, you men are standing here protecting a statue yeah. rather than standing with the people. Mm. Wow. Mm. Like, wow, that just says it all. Mm, mm, like, the, it's, it's, it's those little symbolisms that just says it all. There's people all around you mm, protesting for justice, but you're fighting for peace, yeah. and you're, you're protecting a statue. Yeah, yeah. Really deep that you're protecting a statue, yeah. and you're looking at other human beings, mm. I like yourself. Mm, mm. The, only the only difference between us in that moment is the uniform. Yeah. And that's, that's the thing that people are, are directing their anger at, is the establishment, is the uniform, yeah. is what it represents. I think so in, because when you in America, yeah. um, I don't know mm. uh, the world. Okay, in Birmingham statues are vandalized in America. Slave trade uh -huh. owners um, statues are being broken down, etc. Bye bye. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. Um, Gandhi statues being vandalized. Um, India, rioters attack Polish Polish statue. So it's it's going it's going on everywhere in terms of these symbols um, yeah. that represent the establishment, man. That's interesting. Yeah. Like, so if people do start breaking down statues and breaking things down, like actually destroying them, vandalizing, like, do you think, yeah. do you think that's okay kind of thing? Do you think that's, that's a I valid reaction? It's a, it's a, it, I think it is a valid reaction because it's a, it's a subliminal reminder of know your place. Mm. You, you know what we're doing. You know why you're here. Mm. You, do you know what I mean? It's a, it's a constant reminder. Like if there's a statue of a slave trader, mm. just, just up there for people to see every day up there, slave trader like come on man what is what what is that subliminally telling the people mm -hmm. that live in that country or live in that place mm -hmm. that's subliminally telling people like yo listen we know what we're about mm -hmm. you see it mm -hmm. <laughs> you see that statue mm -hmm. you better shush mm -hmm. you better be quiet mm -hmm. don't talk do you know what i mean and and obviously people people <sighs> human beings naturally want justice we all want justice so eventually there's going to get to a point where you can only disrespect you can only do things so much to people before they react yeah there's a boiling point for before everyone. they react there's a boiling point yeah and i think we've we've and i think we've come to that boiling point now yeah. where enough is enough now like mm. we don't want this we don't want like who is this who is this statue of this don Mm. like we don't no one cares about this don like we're past that now we're in new times it's a new era it's a new thought we're in 2020 now we're in a whole new era and that, all of that shit needs to be put in the bin yeah it I, needs to be put in the bin man i think one of the because we don't yeah, go on. one of the things that we spoke about i know was um 
the concept of spiritualism, right? The concept of, yeah. you know, the, the power of the people. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. The concept of, so you said, like, there was a bunch of people uh, protesting and then the horses came through. You get what I'm saying? Uh -huh. um, what actually happened um, at that point when the horses came through? Like, what was the feeling? What were the emotions? And what, what were people saying? And then what changed everything? Basically, when the horses came through, like, we, at first they were lined up in it. So at first they were lined up, like, to intimidate us, but we were still, like, you know, we were still there, like, you know, protesting and whatnot, peacefully. Yeah, we were still there. And then all of a sudden, they just started charging, innit? The horses. So then, like, that, yeah, the horses started charging. Yeah. And I'm, I kid you not, yeah, I was, I, before, before they charged, I was like, I was like, try, um, like protesting and whatnot. Literally to my left, there was a little you, his mum, and there was a pram right there. Mm. No word of a lie. Mm. Yeah, there was a pram right there. Mm. Yeah, that's how peaceful it was. A, a little you, his mum, baby, they were there mm. protesting, mm. fighting for justice, mm. jumping up and down. Mm. Yeah, and then the horses charging. Mm. Everything just went. Everything just went wild. Everyone started running. Obviously, we're gonna run back because there's like. Bro, there's big, big, big horses yes, like, coming horses. at you. So, you know what I'm saying? We're going to dip, innit? Yeah. So, obviously, we're bare running now, running, running. And then we're running now. And then, obviously, the police officer... Because when I, cause I ran and then when I looked back, there was a police officer just spread out on the floor. Yeah. And I was baffled because I was like, wait, why is there a police officer spread out on the floor? Like, yeah. did someone get to like, did someone get to them? Like, that's wild. Yeah. Like, how the hell did they get to the police officer? <laughs> then, obviously, like... <laughs> Obviously, like a bit later, we found out that um, yeah, man. the horse, the horse line, by, the, by traffic light. yeah, the horse bolted, and then that police officer got licked down by the traffic light. And to me, to me, like I might sound mad, but I don't care in it. Yeah. To me, that was a spiritual sign for me mm. because we was all there fighting for justice, and then you want to be a pagan and come with a horse that could have killed someone, mm. that could have trampled on someone, mm. and then you lost control of the horse, and look what happened to your head top. Mm. Yeah, look what happened to your head top. That should be a lesson. Yeah, and bear in mind, we bear in mind, yeah, we ain't we ain't got weapons. Yeah, we ain't armed. We're not in bright uniform. So what's that all about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's another thing. That's another subliminal thing. They got horses. They got all of this. Yeah, and it's like that's what they think of us. Mm. That's what they think of justice. Mm, mm, mm. To come in riot gear. Mm, mm. To come with horses. Mm. And and like move all intimidating like that's wild to me, man. Mm -hmm. And we're outside Downing Street, fam. Mm -hmm. We're telling Boris, yo, Boris, come out. We just want to talk, fam. Where you at, <laughs> Boris? I said, Boris, we just want to talk. <laughs> we just want to talk, fam. Like, why are you hiding, yeah. bro? We look look past the gate, yeah. Man, I got machine guns. What's that about? Mm -hmm. Man got big man I got guns, you know. We're out here with our fucking signs saying, Look, we want justice. Come outside and talk to us. Mm. Why you don't want to come outside and talk to us, but you want to go on TV with your fucking mad head top talking about I don't know what wherever he's talking about. Mm. Mm. This is the same government that we didn't even want in power. Like, what's going on here, man? Because you know for a fact, I know for a fact, any right thinking person, yeah. Look how many thousands of people are out on these streets right now. And a lot of people voted this this um past um Election. This past election, mm -hmm. I know for a fact that the voting system, that shit is rigged. Mm -hmm. now, who in them right minds would want a conservative government in power right now? Mm -hmm. And we're out here asking for justice, asking for peace. And look what the government turn around and say. Mm -hmm. Look what they do. Mm -hmm. Look how look how they respond. Big big horses and riot gear. Mm -hmm. When you're asking for justice, when you're asking for peace, mm -hmm. when you're asking for respect. Mm -hmm. That's wild, bro. But that's 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 they've answered us. Yeah. So when I said so, about who do you serve, who do you protect, that's the that answer. Was it. So you your, protect your, the establishment. Your, your take or your understanding or I guess your belief of like the, the fact that whatever happened to the horse happened is was a spiritual sign, was a spiritual response because you're there a um, spiritual sign, bro. peace and then they're there in potential violent violent gear and then the response happened out of your control. You didn't predict it was inevitable. That's just that's a sign in itself. And and, and and you know what else made it spiritual as well, yeah. Everybody that's there will know as well, yeah. It started raining mad, didn't it? Mm. And it was thundering. Mm. And every time the thunder went off, we all just started cheering like, yeah, mm. yeah. And then then about, I'd say about 20 minutes later, that's when the police policeman's head top got removed. But, <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah. but, like, to me, that's a spiritual sign, man. That's a, that's a spiritual sign that, listen, mm. like, 
when we all come as one mm. and we put that and we put that energy out there into the universe mm. trust me they could come with tanks they could come with helicopters which they will come in with helicopters mm. they could come with everything they want in the world yeah. but when you're in that spirit and you're fighting for justice yeah higher powers will always we'll protect us that's, higher powers will always protect us that, and that's what's happening right now yeah. and that's why there's there you see they're scared yeah they're scared of what's happening right now look what just take a look at what's happening all over the world right now mm. All over the world, people are standing up and saying, no, enough is enough. And they're scared. Mm. They're shook. Because now everything is crumbling. Mm. Because, because you, can't, you can't... Everything has its time in it. Yeah. Especially when you're moving with evil and bad intentions. Yeah. You are going to get your commandments, your comeuppances, and people will rise up. Mm. So when people rise up, you can't turn around and say, look, they're being violent. Look! Mm, mm, mm. Why are, you, why are they rising up? Look. Mm. Nah, man. We're rising up because it's the spirit. Because we have to. So this, this, it's, it's time for change. This is, a th this is an interesting point, right? So the spiritual warfare versus the physical warfare, right? And this mm -hmm. might link back into um, our origins as a people, right? I feel like yeah. as a people, um, from the origins of Africa, right? Uh, 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 mm -hmm. I guess another reason why things like racism and slavery tend to... Uh, we allow them to happen to, to a point. I feel like we're a very forgiving people. We're a very forgiving race, a very accepting race. Right? Yeah. And I feel like, you know, a lot of people have taken advantage of that. Right? Yeah. 100%. <clears throat> and um, you said something about instead of fighting fire with fire all the time, it's also fight, fighting fire with love. But love isn't as soft as people think it is. Love, listen, one thing people need to, to realize, yeah, love is not, when people say, like, really, <laughs> really use love, like, love is not singing in a circle holding hands, kumbaya. singing kumbaya. Like, that's not it. Love is, a, love is a force. Love is a spiritual, universal force that can, that basically, the universe is run off love. So if you really get into that force of love, mm. really get into that, trust me, you can move mountains. Mm. People, people, people can do the maddest of things mm. with love, with love in their heart, pure love in their heart. Even to these protests that you're seeing all around the world, it's all love. Mm, mm, it's mm. all love. People are loving one another and saying enough is enough. I don't look. You're black. I don't. You're white. Wh whatever the case may be, it don't matter because at the end of the day, we're all from the same spirit. Mm. We're all the same spirit. Mm. We're all having the same experience right now. Mm, 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 mm. In this, in this, in this three D reality that we're in right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're having this free because right now mm. our reality right now is up, down, left, right. Mm. Yeah, but the, but our ancestors. They was about in and out. Mm. They don't teach in and out. Mm. In and out is the spirit. Mm. The way the the way to really to really get to where we want to go is in 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 this world. You need to be in in connection with forces that you can't see, mm. but you can feel. Mm. Once you connect to the forces that you can't see, that's when you start doing things that are, people will look at you and be like, "Whoa!" Like. That's crazy. How did you do that? Yeah, yeah. But it's different forces now. So that's the, the, yeah. Go on, go on, go on. Yeah. So like the so like that's and that's what they that's what they're using. They're using they're using misinformation. They're not te like because when when we're saying oh yeah like we want our history to be taught in schools, please believe the oppressor will not teach you your history. Mm. Somebody who's oppressing you, somebody who doesn't want like somebody who's trying to hide your true power from you. To really, to really hide who you are from you. What reason would they yeah. teach you the, um, your strength if they, if they better exactly. your weakness? Yeah. Exactly, mm. exactly. And they will not teach you because once they start teaching you, once, if, they, if, you, if they start teaching you about our real history, mm. our real, real history, mm. what we was doing thousands, tens of thousands, thousands, thousands of years ago, mm. I'm telling you now, if black people really knew their history, mm. All of this shit will stop tomorrow. Mm, mm, mm. And don't forget, and let me just make this clear as well, black history is world history. Mm. Let me make that clear as well. Black history is world history. But they will never tell you that. Mm. They will never tell you that. The oppressor will never tell you your true history. So I would, so, yeah, I would just say like... But this is um, the thing. That's, this is really Yeah, that's very important to, to, to get into. Yeah, but that's, that's ill, bro. And that's one thing I think I was, I was discussing with you as well. Um, when we, I guess we're, we're raring into the conversation of solutionizing things, right? Yeah, yeah, and yeah. I think exactly, yeah. one of the core core answers to solutionizing is understanding yeah. where you're coming from, right? You wouldn't know where you're going, you know where you've been, right? 
Yes. And you mentioned yes. the core word as well, education, right? Now, yes, education. The, the people that control our education at the moment are not our people, right? The people that, not all. that, that sprinkle what we digest are not of our origins. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So like you said, what we're digesting is not our food. <laughs> yeah. So how can we get? Yeah. How can we strengthen ourselves if we're not digesting what's supposed to make us stronger as a people, right? And one yeah. thing which I know you always promote since I've known you was always, yo, fam, I'm reading, you know, yeah, fam, I know about this stuff, like, yeah, man, read this, you know, it's self yeah. self learning. You know yeah. What saying? And um, yeah, what's your take on that stuff, man? Because I think we're talking, we're, we're getting to conversation of like, um, role models, right? And people we're calling influencers and stuff like that. Like, where are we getting our information from? Yeah, I mean, one thing, one thing that I've, the one thing that I ask about influencers is, is, what are you influencing? Mm. You know, like you can you can call yourself an influencer, mm. but are you really influencing? Are you really influencing? Are you influencing change, or are you are you influencing people to buy products mm. so you and that company can make can make money? Mm. Mm. Like, what are you what are you actually influencing? Mm. And People are being influenced by the wrong people. People are being influenced by a lot of people in sheep's clothing. Mm. There's a lot of people who claim to be spiritual. There's a lot of people who claim to be on that spiritual wave, but really and truly, they ain't really about the spiritual wave. Mm. Because a lot of people don't want to go into it. Like, being spiritual is not all, ooh, let me light some sage and let me do this and that. That's part of it. Mm. But real spirituality is going into hell and coming back out mm. a new person. Mm. Real spirit, like... Because me, with me, like, when I started my reading, yeah, I started on black history because I said to myself, yo, like, me as a black man, I don't I don't know my own history. Yeah. And that, that didn't sit right with me. So yeah. I started reading, I started, you know, started my reading there. Yeah. And then I like, went on to spirituality from there. Um, and um, it's, it's, it's crazy because there's just so much, like, there's just so much misinformation out there mm. there's so much information that is hidden there's so much mm. education that's not taught like for example the, the the education system yeah this education system yeah take out education from it mm -hmm. it's an inter in, it's an intro indoctrination system mm -hmm. that's what it is it, it doesn't teach you it's an the fundamentals of life mm. it doesn't teach you the fundamentals of life it just teaches you to basically say yes sir no sir mm. okay cool i'm going to tell you something regurgitate everything you just told me huh okay cool mm. okay now go off there now go get a job mm. yes sir no sir all right cool now die see you later yeah let's bring off let's bring in the next people like it's not bringing it's not bringing anything out of you yeah yeah you know it's not bringing anything it's not bringing it's anything organic out learning of growth yeah it's copy and paste as opposed to it's copy evolution and paste of knowledge right yeah because because mm. if you look at the etymology of the word education Edu education the etymology of the word is educare and educare means to to draw out that's real education to draw out your being to draw out who you are yeah. that's real education to know exactly who you are yeah your origin on all on on all levels yeah on all levels even on a spiritual level yeah to really know who you are mm. and what it means mm. and what that actually means you know mm. and um so someone just said, um, it's interesting that ancient Egypt was the only a captivating subject I can think of. Yeah. Um, Albi said, not everyone should be an activist, though. Some of these influencers aren't educated enough to say the right things. Right. And this... <clears throat> yes, that's, that's so true. This is that's true. P, and, you know, this links into direct conversation that you and I were having offline, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. There are people that have different roles in life, right? That's a fact. You yeah. know what I mean? And we're talking about the different factions in our society, the different parts and segments of our society, Right. We have people that mm -hmm. focus on economy. We have people that focus on entertainment, politics, mm -hmm. news, mm -hmm. media, education, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But yeah. we have people that represent us in all of those fractions, right? And in terms of education and in terms of representation in front of the media, those are two different kinds of people, right? So yeah. um, it could be a case of the togetherness concept that we're talking about in terms of bringing everyone together. It could be a case yeah. of the educator, each one teach one. The educator teaches the entertainer the entertainer reflects what the educators taught them on a platform and that whatever the, the entertainers taught them or reflects on the platform kind of i'm um, filtered through to to the rest of the society you got what i'm saying yeah but it's a case yeah. like we spoke about everyone having the same shared views and goals at the end of the day so that that message yeah. that comes out from the so quote unquote influencer is a shared message that leads to product productivity 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, I, yeah, no, I totally agree with that. And I think, um, you know, some people are making some good points, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get onto that as well. Mm. Um, it, I think it all depends on the the influences. They need to educate themselves. You know, they need to educate themselves and really, really understand what kind of system they're living in and really understand how they can really help and, ch and you know, try and push a certain message, like an actual help, a helpful message and a meaningful message. And someone's saying about um, the pa uh, parents as well, like, yeah, 100%, like, parents have a big role to play. Everybody has a role to play. Everybody has a role to play, yeah. you know, like... If 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 you're if you're like let's say for example your 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 son or daughter whatever is going to school and they're teaching Asian Egyptian history for example and they're completely telling telling that child lies, mm. it's up to the it's up to the parents to say, oh is that what they taught you? Mm. I right, come over here. Let me crack open. Let me crack open the, the metu and let me t let me sh let me show you on this. Let me put you on this or let me tell you about this or let me show you the actual black people that were actually in these places. Mm. Let me actually show you in these books where white people who came from Europe even stated that they saw these black people in these black lands mm. doing up doing up civilization and their civ and when they got there so imagine now this was like hundreds of years ago yeah like imagine when they got here when they got there these civilizations that they were seeing were thousands and thousands and thousands of thousands of like yeah mad old yeah yeah mad old so imagine just just imagine the amount of 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 yeah. wealth and and, yeah. and 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 things that they have there yeah, yeah. um but yeah, it's it's um if if everybody like everybody just needs to needs to educate themselves and and you know really 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 think about what they're actually doing is it is it is it filling your spirit mm. like honestly speaking like if people really sit down and and talk to themselves because you know we should really be talking to ourselves you know like and ask yourself is Love what I'm <laughs> is what I'm is what I'm pushing to these people fulfilling my soul. Mm, mm. Is it something that I can go to bed at night and say, "Yeah, man, I pushed a good message, and maybe it reached one or two or three people, and they can now spread that message"? Like, is, that's what that's the thing that people need really need to answer because all this social media, all Instagram, all of this stuff, like, it's all just illusions, man. It's all smoke and mirrors. Mm. Real recognize real, mm, mm. and real energy will recognize that. Mm, mm, you know what I'm mm. saying? And and you know, I, I think I feel like it's a real disservice for people to be to be you know, portraying themselves to be something that they're not because mm. we have too much of that, man. Mm. We have too much of that and, and, and that's that's slowing down the progression that we need to, to further things and make things better for ourselves and yeah. for our children and our children's children, do you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. And yeah. and and it will be a dis it will be a disservice and a disrespect to our ancestors that who were out here fighting. Yeah, don't don't get it twisted as well. Like this is this is another thing that they push that oh yeah, we basically ran up on Africa and everybody was you know, everybody was, we just went there, put everyone in chains and brought them here and brought them there and did that. And no, man, there were people fighting. They fought, they fought. There were, pe there were people that said, what, are you mad? Yeah. You want to take me where? Get the fuck out of here. I ain't going there, man. Fuck out of here. Like, you know what I mean? They were fighting. It was a struggle and it's always been a struggle. Why do you think, why do you think there's so many things that are pushed onto us? Media, mm. like <laughs> music, all of these things that they're constantly onto us, constantly onto us because you need to be constantly onto people to keep them down because as soon as people start waking up that's when things start getting a bit getting a bit shaky it's that it's that whole ma yeah. it's that whole matrix thing isn't it it's that whole yeah plug plug and unplug kind of situation right the minute you see the truth yeah, definitely. it's like you know your full strength you become the one right you become neo yeah everyone's the one man everybody's the one yeah and and i think as well like um basically whatever we believe whatever we whatever we actually hold in our mind mm. And whatever we actually believe will actually that's that is our reality mm -hmm. they're they're pushing a certain reality to you mm. and if and if if they're telling you the perception of your reality then your perception of reality will be what they're telling you yeah. what they're pushing to you. But as soon, yeah. yeah but as soon as you as soon as you start taking ownership of your own reality start taking ownership of your own mind don't let them feed things into your mind then you start moving differently mm. then you 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 you'll start seeing things that nobody else can see mm, mm, mm. you'll think about you'll think about someone and then boom they'll call you yeah. or you think oh shit i need to get this boom that like things exactly. start things start dropping into you things yeah. start coming in like coming to you when yeah. you're aligned with your spirit and aligned with your own perception of what you want reality to be yeah. you know yeah and i think one thing which one thing which um, this also promotes is that that strength in numbers, that strength in unity, because right now it's actually the minority elite in 
needed the, the majority because the majority are not thinking. So they've been, I guess, hypnotized or whatever, right? Versus if it flips and the majority, like like wherever it's, like we always see when the, whenever there's riots or whenever there's um, protests, the minute the people yeah. the people decide to wake up and tune in and say, wait, wait, we've got power in numbers. Hold on. Yeah, things, yeah. Things completely That's, reverse. You see, the when the veil lifts and yeah. you look around and say, hold on a sec, but this is the thing, this is the, the how strong how strong this mind control is. Mm. They've got everybody thinking that they're they're outnumbered, but when you actually think about it. We outnumbered these police forces and all of that by a fuck knows how many to one. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. there's 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 so much. There's so many of us. Mm -hmm. But what they do is they'll start they'll start putting certain things. So for example, now yeah, they'll start saying like people will be like, okay, cool. Like they'll put certain perceptions out there. So you're I don't know, you're gay, you're black, you're this. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now. Like look at it like this, yeah. The percep the, the perception of a black man in this in this society, mm -hmm. if you say black man, that automatically what they put out there is okay, you're a black man, that means you're a drug dealer, you're shit, you're this, mm -hmm. you have no history, you're this, mm -hmm. you're that, blah 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 blah. And then now, because we've attached ourselves to this word black man, mm -hmm. now our whole perception and our whole reality mm -hmm. is that Yeah, guilty by association in that in the term of the word. Is but it's a spirit. It's on yeah. a spiritual vibe. Yeah. If your percep, yeah. if your perception is, I am this. I am this. I am a black man. Mm. This is what I am, or mm. I am gay, or whatever. Like, mm. just this label. That means ev everything you are is that label. Mm. 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 How can you put a label? How can you put a label on the spirit? Mm. Mm. How can you put a label on something that cannot be that? You can't. You can't put a label on the spirit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You cannot put a label on the spirit. So, mm. so like. It's all about perception again. So, yeah. so the perception that they put out there is you lot are outnumbered. Mm. We control things. You lot can't do shit. Mm. But when we remove the veil now and we see, oh my gosh, there's other people like, there's other like-minded people out here that actually want justice and yeah. want peace. Yeah. That's when the movement now becomes bigger. And now it's one voice, mm. not many voices here and there. Because if there's voices scattered everywhere, you don't just be like, right, cool. Let's just quickly go. Yeah, it's easier to control. Yeah. But if it's one solid unit, yeah. one solid voice, one solid energy, one solid spirit, mm. it cannot be moved. Hundred percent, unless the people it decide to be move themselves. Like, yes, exactly. Yeah. Unless we decide, unless we put the chains back on ourselves. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. That's that's what it is, man. If we put the chains back on ourselves, yeah. that's it. We are our own prison guards. Yeah. We are our own. Like we are the ones that we judge ourselves. Yeah. More time, we'll be in our mind saying, "Oh, I can't do this. Oh, I can't do that. Oh, shit, I can't do this." But more time, no one's actually coming to you and saying that. It's you telling yourself. It's, that. it's, it's, it's you exactly telling your yourself that. Yeah. 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 Exactly. We set up. We set our own restrictions. So now, we got to break free, and now we got to unchain. Mm. Like Bob Marley, bro. Bob Marley. This is my bro. Yeah. My my my, my hero. What man. song were you guys? What, what, what song were you guys singing yesterday? Um, one love and a few others. Okay, cool. But one of the key one of one of the key things that Bob Marley said mm. that was always resonated with me. He said, "Emancipate yourself from mental slavery." Yeah. We have to emancipate ourselves from mental slavery. Once we emancipate ourselves from mental slavery, mm. then you'll see a whole new change. Mm. And 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 I'm I'm very hopeful, and I'm very I'm very very hopeful in this time that. A, a, a change is going to come. Yeah, a change will come. Hundred percent. A change will come. Bro, one hundred percent. Bro, I really appreciate that, man. Like this is one of the topics I wanted to go into today, um, in terms of spirituality. Yeah. And the strength of love yeah. versus, <clears throat> the, you know, capitalism, and the yeah, of, um, superficiality. Love, love always wins. Materialism. Mm -hmm. So, like, in terms of solutionizing, I think we've covered a few things, and we'll come back to this again in future conversations, man. But I think one yeah, important yeah, yeah. to touch on today is, is self education, self understanding. Yes. Right. Yes, yes, yes. And a lot of people fail to do this because they're waiting for people to feed them that information, right? But then, like yeah. we said, the information that's being fed by the quote-unquote powers that be is the information that has their agenda written all over it, right? So yeah, it's yeah. our responsibility as individuals to, to wake up, to give ourselves some kind of energy and put the effort into yeah. learning about our own history, learning about what's actually happening around us versus just yeah. being zombies and following, yeah. blind. Yeah. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And yeah, um, no, what, 100%. What, what I asked from you, bro, earlier, and maybe you can send yeah. it over the course of the week, is if you can start sending me some resources and maybe putting them up yeah. on your platforms and on my platforms, um, whereby people yeah. can start reading stuff, start watching stuff, start educating themselves. 
You feel me? Yeah. Because a lot of people, they might be willing to do it, but they just don't know where to start and don't know how. You feel me? So if we can start yeah. putting out things like that, that would be dope. And I guess having more of these conversations and allowing other people to chip in and chime in. Because like you said, there is a shared view and a shared goal for a lot of people. They just feel scattered. So we start bringing it all together, yeah. it becomes one vision. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and, and that's why I got, I got a big you up, man, because you starting this and doing this, like, this this is the start of something big, man. I love Because more and, more and more people will talk, yeah. more and more people will, will share information, share books, yeah. Yeah. you know, all of that kind of stuff. And, and, and um, you know, people can start to, to, you know, free themselves, man, free yeah. themselves from, from, from all of this madness that these, yeah. that these... And let me just say this, yeah, they, yeah. they're not... Let's let's stop calling them powers, mm. so-called powers. Mm. Let's stop calling the people them elite. Mm. Let's stop calling white supre like there's nothing supreme. Like when people say, "Oh yeah, white supremacists," there's not there's nothing supreme about racism. Mm. There's nothing supreme about hate. Mm. There's nothing supreme about injustice. Mm. We need to sell. We need to now change it to the lower powers that be. Mm. Really let really really call them for what they are, the lower powers that be. Mm. You know, mm. and um. I think um, as well with education, like, you know, just, just, it, it might be, it might be like, oh shit, like, where do I start? But just, just pick somewhere. Just, just start from somewhere, man. Mm. If it's, if it's, if you want to learn about the spiritual, start looking into some spiritual stuff, man. If you want to learn about, you know, black, you know, black history and be careful about what, um, what you read and stuff like that, you know, I think, because, I think um, that's the reason, I think that's the reason, bro, why I say, um, some kind of guidance because there's so much stuff. Yeah, out yeah, there, yeah, yeah. Right, a lot of people yeah. can get lost in in it. Right. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, when I say yeah. you don't know where to start, sometimes you don't know where to go as well. You feel yeah. me? Like um, you can pick yeah. something up and it's been it's been tainted by someone else's views. It's like Wikipedia now, right? You, because yeah, yeah, Wikipedia, yeah. Something just tap in there, and then information hits the universe, and next thing you know, people yeah. are consuming dirt. Yeah. I, mean, I think um, I think um, what I would what I would say to that is um, uh. When, because we're in, we're in the information age right now, man. Yeah. You know, it's a beautiful thing. It's a it's a blessing and a curse. You know, we see it. Yeah. Um, but we're definitely in the in the information age. Yeah. Information is there for us. Yeah. At, at the cl at the click of a button. If you don't know so something, I think, it's really because either you're too lazy to find it, or you just don't know where to go. But it's literally there. It's not like you even have to go to a library anymore, right? Before you need yeah. a library card, a subscription, or something. Yeah. But it's there. Yeah. yeah, it's there. It's all there, man. So I think. Um, Basically, when you're when you're doing your own research and looking into stuff, you you basically try as much as possible to um, if it feels right for you, mm. if it, if your spirit if your spirit is drawn to it, then more time, more often than not, that's 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 the the route you need to go. Mm. Mm. You know, and sometimes you gotta sift through some shit in order to get to the gold. You yeah. know what I mean? Um, but everybody everybody has has a plan in life, and everybody has has a um, a motive their des their destination that mm. they that they're going to in their own personal life yeah. you know so um you know the information that you come across the people that you come across is 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 for a reason everything happens for a reason you know that's what i mean dope. everything happens for a reason that's you know dope. and um that's yeah dope. man so essentially listen listen to your spirit and, and don't block it out yeah like, most likely guide yeah. you to where you need to be going yeah because the spirit the spirit is everything man the spirit mm. is everything and we can't function without the spirit. Without a spirit in this body, in this, in this thing that I'm in now, without the actual spirit, what am I? It's nothing. I'm a I'm a dead body. Yeah. But my mm. but the spirit lives on. Mm. The body the body the body is a vessel. Mm. The body is a vessel. There's a reason why we have a brain. There's a reason why. The, like, every everything that we see, touch, smell, it's all it's all directed in here. Mm. If we touch something, this is how quick it is. As soon as we touch something, we feel a, a fabric or something. The brain says, really? "This is what this is what you're touching. This is yeah, what you're truly. feeling." But yeah. but really and truly, what is that that we're feeling? It's just energy. Mm. That's what we're feeling. It's the brain that's telling you you're feeling this. But mm. but but in and this is scientific. If you want to go look it up, look up um, uh, quantum physics. Mm -hmm. Quantum physics. Mm -hmm. But uh, quantum physics teaches that. Everything is energy. Mm -hmm. This is scientific fact. Particle. If you go and research Particle, it, yeah. yeah. So why would we? Why would the, the question we need to ask ourselves is why do we have a body that if we smell something, we have things in our in our noses body that yeah. cal that calculates it and it tells us what what, what we're smelling. Yeah. We have eyes. Our eyes are lenses. Mm. But what would need a lens to see mm. in the, in this reality? Mm. So the, of 
what like we have a voice box mm. so what is that speaking behind what what is it that needs a voice box to communicate now mm. do you know what i mean like mm, 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 mm. you know it's 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 it's, thing, it's things like that like we are we are the we are the 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 energy behind of what yeah, this is yeah, yeah, yeah. because yeah. because as soon as the edit because as soon as the energy ain't in here it's, it's done out Essentially, it's done. essentially what it is, it's like you've got a machine, but in order for the machine to work, you need something to drive it. And what's driving yeah, that machine need... is the spirit behind, right? It's the spirit, the yeah. spirit leaves that machine or leaves that vehicle, the machine is yeah. nothing. And you can't put someone else's machine in your machine. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? So, so the so question so the question is so the question is what what is it that needs this this moving mechanical thing? What is it that needs th this mm. to function in to function now? Mm. You know, those those are those are like the, the the deeper questions that people should ask themselves. Then when you start when you start asking yourself, mm. you know, what is this? What is this body? Why do I need this body? What is this energy mm. that needs this? Mm. Then you then you start really to get into know thyself, which yeah. is what the ancient the ancient Egyptians were talking about on their temples. Yeah. The first thing that is that said was know thyself. Mm, mm. These were in the mystery schools. Mm. Read, look up, look up the the ancient Egyptian mystery schools. Look up, know thyself. Mm. They're teaching that you are not of the flesh. Mm. You are not of the body. Jesus was saying this. Mm, mm, mm. You are not of the flesh. I am not of the flesh. I am not of the body. When Jesus was on the cross, mm. getting brutalized, getting beaten, all of that stuff. When he was on the cross, mm. he said, do what you want with my body. I am not of the flesh. Mm, mm, mm. I am not of the flesh. And and let's not get it twisted. And this might sound mad to people, but we are not different from Jesus. Mm. Jesus never said, you are all different from me. Mm, mm. He said, I am a child of God. We are all children of God. Mm -hmm. God is God is everything. Mm -hmm. God, is, God is the energy. God is energy. God is everything. That's what we are. Yeah. Yeah. That's what we are. So how can a racist, evil, prejudiced system ever hold down something that is... Godly. That is godly. Yeah. And, th and imagine now, if you, if you let people know that that's, that's, where, that's where you originate from, you are godly. Yeah, yeah. Because do we not create life? Do we not do certain things? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, there's definitely. Do you know what I mean? We have God in ourselves. Yeah, we're, yeah, we're, we have God in ourselves. We're a reflection of the powers beyond. Exactly, and and the main thing that spirituality, the real spirituality, is connecting with that higher self. Mm, mm, mm. Connecting with that higher self. Find your potential and your purpose. Exactly, and that's where you start seeing you start seeing amazing things happening. If we all if we all moved with that energy yeah. and really connected with ourselves, yeah, this 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 Impossible this, this earth. Right? Impossible is nothing, man. Impossible is only what you, what you perceive yourself to yeah. be impossible. Now, I'm not saying that you know it's all. Yeah, you just just think that you can do it. Just think that you can do it, and it will be done. Like no, that it's it's it takes a lot of inner work, and it takes a lot of time out, man. You got to take time out from all of this, all Instagram, Facebook, blah, 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 music, blah, 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 blah. oh, I've got to go work, I've got to go here, I've got to go there, da 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 da. da. Like mm. you got to take time out and really get into yourself and really, you know know who you are man and, and know where you're going yeah. in your spiritual journey so no, I, you know? I appreciate that i appreciate that man bro we're gonna sign yeah. out because it's almost an hour mark i believe got oh okay minutes, bro it's been real that and didn't feel like an hour <laughs> yeah i know i know i know i know it didn't feel like an hour at all i'm gonna um yeah, this man. is gonna automatically go on my igtv so people can watch okay. it over um over yeah, the weeks yeah. i'll be getting clips and snippets from it so people can just pick stuff up and like yeah, I said, I'm yeah. going to try and um, have this on a regular occurrence of different people from different areas. On Tuesday, one of my boys in New York right now is going to come on and have yeah. a chat with us as well. And you know okay. what I'm trying to do, right? And we spoke about... I know what you're trying to do. Yeah, I know what you're we trying to do. We spoke about this, man. So eventually, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll get there, bro. Yeah, I mean, I yeah, really yeah, yeah. appreciate you. Yeah, yeah man. Keep doing your thing. Yeah, man. Keep no, I appreciate, out, I appreciate... Man. Yeah, man. And I, I, yeah, I appreciate you as well, man. And big us for... Letting me come on your platform and uh, yeah, man, this 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 is this is new for me as well, really. I know. I mean, this is new for me, so I know. I know. So I know. yeah, Thank man. You, so Thank first you. time, but many more conversations. No. That I'll I'll let people know the books and whatnot. And love. yeah, man, let's 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 link up a vibe, man. And yeah, man, love, love. I appreciate it, man. Take care, guys, man. Alright, love, man. Peace. Love, man. Peace. Peace. Thank you, guys, for tuning in. No silicone. No silicone. No silicone. No silicone.